as we see now, we've done our letter. Let's kind of let's kind of summarize this to where we are right now. As we select our letter, we've actually turned it into outlines. We went ahead and did the step where we created the outlines. As you see up here under type, we uh, did the create outlines. So I can find that here. There it is. We did that process there. Important is when you select our letters to make sure we have no fill selected. So that's why I went over here and I put a slash through the fill as you can see. We saved our file and now we're going to go into Vectrix Aspire program to create a toolpath. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come down here because I already have it attached to my taskbar or mini bar down at the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and select Aspire. We're using version 8 of Aspire at this time. I'm going to go ahead and open up an existing file. I'm going to go back to my directory uh, where I've saved that particular file and I have it down here in my tutorials where I'm help with creating and I'll go find that file. Well I guess I don't have it there so I'll go find it in another location. So I'll open that existing file I'll come up here to my directory documents come down here to my file open this up wooden letters, MDF letters, my project and there is my Y letter that I was looking for. As you can see when you create a file uh, in VCarve Pro, or excuse me, Aspire's uh, program, it'll actually create the tool file and give you a visual of it. So I'll go ahead and open up my Illustrator file now. Now, a couple of critical points. As you can see, the file is open, but the file now inside of Aspire is only to the extents of the artwork that you had in Illustrator. Real critical, when you go into Aspire, always make sure that your artwork is set to the lower left-hand corner on the XY axis, as you can see here. Now what I need to do is to size the piece that I had. So I'll come over here and I'll double check what my measurements were on the actual job size. So I'll go back to Illustrator and I'll look at that file setup. So I'll go to Document, Setup, and I want to edit my artboards in Illustrator. So my width was 24 and my height was, eight, uh, was 22. So again, width on the piece of my artboard was 24 and the height was 18. We'll go back to Aspire and we'll set our job size to exactly the same thing. So in the X it was 24 inches here and in the Y it was 22 inches in that size as well. And then I'll hit enter at that point and I'll go and I'll center up the job as we see right here. So as I center up the job, the piece, first of all you have to select the piece. So let me get out of that real quick. Select the piece doing a control A and then go down and center up the piece as you see right here. We'll come back to this in a moment. 